Please welcome our presenter from the Rotary Club of Marin Evening, District 5150 Foundation Chair and past District Governor, Jane Holbert. Greetings, Rotarians. Thank you for joining this program on the Rotary Foundation. Today, we will provide information on the impactful grants around the world, our Polio Plus efforts to eradicate polio, and we'll discuss opportunities for you to continue to support the great work of the Rotary Foundation. The Rotary Foundation provides endless opportunities for grants as well as giving. The Rotary Foundation really is our foundation. Please enjoy the program. Thank you. Our objectives today are to review the history of the Rotary Foundation, to talk about Rotary's areas of focus, Polio Plus, and grants and giving. The Rotary Foundation transforms your gifts into service projects that change lives locally and globally. Since it was founded more than 100 years ago, the Foundation has spent more than $4 billion on life-changing sustainable projects. With your help, we can make lives better in your community and around the world. In 1917, Arch Klumpf was president of Rotary, and he said, it seems eminently proper that we should accept endowments for the purpose of doing good in the world. And with that, the Rotary Foundation was created. Shortly thereafter, the first donation was made. It was a mere $26.50. In 1930, the foundation made its first award. It was for $500 to the International Society for Crippled Children. This organization became famous for Easter seals to help children with disabilities, including those that were stricken with polio. How prophetic was it that our foundation's first award was to an organized organization that helped children with disabilities as we now continue to eradicate polio around the world? Our foundation's mission is to enable Rotarians to advance world understanding, goodwill, and peace through the improvement of health, the support of education, and the alleviation of poverty. The work of Rotary begins in the community, and every community has its own unique needs and concerns. While we serve in countless ways, Rotary's efforts are focused in several key areas to maximize our impact. These areas encompass some of the world's most critical and widespread humanitarian needs, and Rotarians have a proven record of a success in addressing them. The Rotary Foundation trustees and Rotary's International Board of Directors have added a new area of focus, supporting the environment. The environment becomes Rotary's seventh area of focus. More than $18 million in Foundation Global Grant funding has been allocated to environment-related projects over the past five years. 
Creating a distinct area of focus to support the environment will give Rotary members even more ways to bring about positive change in the world and, in, and increase our impact. Gifts and commitments from Rotarians and others will be sought to provide global grant support for the new area of focus. Rotary's number one humanitarian goal is the eradication of polio. Many years ago, the number of cases in the world of polio was some 350,000. And many of these youngsters, because polio impacts mainly children, uh, many of them were disabled, severely disabled, and unfortunately, many passed away. In 1985, Rotary had the courage to say, we will eradicate polio. And we made a promise to the children of the world to create a polio-free environment. While we're not quite there yet, because we still have polio in Afghanistan and Pakistan, we've made an awful lot of progress. It's estimated that some 14 million ch children are walking today without disabilities because they received the polio vaccine. 450 million children are immunized annually. We have funded 150,000 polio workers, and perhaps even more is the polio infrastructure that is now being used to fight other diseases. You may recall that several years ago in Africa, there was a terrible Ebola outbreak that just kept going on and on, and it was finally shut down. And then a few years after that, there was another outbreak that only lasted for a matter of weeks. Part of the reason was that that was able to come to closure so quickly was because of the infrastructure and the medical surveillance networks that polio and our partners have put together around the world. We are now doing the same with COVID-19. We've also used our medical surveillance networks with yellow fever and dengue fever. Our partners include World Health Organization, UNICEF, Governments of the World, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Rotary provides $50 million annually, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation matches our 50 million two to one. So just between the Gates Foundation and Rotary, we have $150 million annually that goes toward the polio eradication. World Polio Day is October 24. This year, our district is sponsoring an exciting road rally to end polio. Details are coming, but please save the date. Now, as Rotarians, we know that you've got lots of ideas for service projects, and you've got projects, and the Rotary Foundation can help. So what kind of funding is available? District grants are small, small-scale, short-term activities that address needs in your community. Each grant must align with the mission of the Rotary Foundation. Clubs determine what, what projects it would like to fund as part of the annual district grant request. Districts can spend up to 50% of their district designated funds to receive just one district grant annually. Clubs apply to the district, and then our district applies to the Rotary Foundation for the district grant on behalf of all the clubs. Examples of district grants in District 5150 include dictionaries for third grade students, a walking path to facilitate residents to exercise to combat obesity, bikes and helmets for underprivileged children, and a variety of youth programs, including Rotary Youth Exchange, Rotary Youth Leadership Awards, known as RILA, Rotaract, and Interact. Small international service projects can also qualify for district grants. A couple examples include provided solar lighting, sanitation, and creation of a schoolroom for children in India, providing, provided solar-powered water filtration systems in India and Guatemala. Global grants provide funding for long-term projects, graduate-level scholarships, and vocational training teams. These grants support large-scale international activi activities with sustainable, measurable outcomes in response to a locally identified need. 
The project must align with one of Rotary's seven areas of focus and a detailed needs assessment is required. With a minimum budget of $30,000, clubs can use district designated funds and cash contributions for a global grant project. The Rotary Foundation World Fund matches DDF on a dollar for dollar basis. Cash contributions are not matched. After becoming qualified, the District 5150 Club and their International Rotary Club partner submit the global grant application using the Rotary Foundation Grant Center. Examples of global grants in our district include microcredit projects in Central America, agricultural projects including greenhouses in the high mountains of Peru, providing um, an irrigation aqueduct in the high atlas mountains in morocco and also a fishing fish processing center and market in ecuador the disaster response grant program was created in 2019 and is aimed at short-term activities focused on relief and recovery districts work closely with local officials and and groups to ensure that the funding will meet a specific community need Typically, disaster response grants provide funds for areas affected by a natural disaster. These grants were recently used in California in response to the terrible forest fires. Rotary District 5150 applied for a Rotary Disaster Response Grant in 2020 as part of our efforts to provide some relief to the pandemic. We received a grant of $25,000 all of which was provided to the San Francisco Marin and Second Harvest Food Banks. Our district charitable foundation matched this grant. A total of $50,000 was provided to these two food banks, which provided approximately 200,000 meals to the most vulnerable population. And finally, programs of scale grants are designed for long-term projects that address a regionally important issue that will benefit a large number of people or a significant geographical area. Activities must use sustainable evidence-based intervention with measurable outcomes and impact and align with one or more of Rotary's areas of focus. This is a competitive process and one approved project per year will receive $2 million from the Rotary Foundation. This is a newly created grant program. No grants have yet been approved. How are grants funded? First, your generous donations to the annual fund share. The Rotary Foundation transforms your gifts into service projects that change lives locally and globally. By giving to the annual fund, you make these life-changing projects possible so that together we can keep doing good in the world. The annual fund is the main funding source for our foundation's programs. When you donate to the annual fund share, a portion of those funds become available to your club each year as designated district designated funds or DDF. Your club can use this money to support district and global grants. Your club decides how to spend your allocated DDF. The Rotary Foundation uses the World Fund to support Rotary's highest priority grants and programs, which are available to all Rotary District. The Rotary Foundation is an organization you, you can support with confidence. The Rotary Foundation has dedicated about 90% of its total spending to programs over the past 10 years, far exceeding the efficiency standards set by independent charity rating services. Charity Navigator, for example, ranks the Rotary Foundation as its number one rate rating among nonprofit foundations. We just launched the Every Rotarian Every Year fundraising campaign here in District 5150. This campaign is specific for the annual fund share and which, as, as we know, will return to your club in about Half of it will return to your club in about in three years. This year we've got some district some uh, district 5150 incentives, including matching your contribution with foundation recognition points. If you donate between $100 and $250 between before 
October 24, 2020, we will match that donation with foundation recognition points. What does that really mean? If you donate $250, we will match that, which means that you now have $500 available, which is half of a Paul Harris Fellow or half of a multiple Paul Harris Fellow. In addition, we have opportunities this year for you to uh, win a Visa gift card for every $20 that you donate to the Rotary Foundation. Um, you are eligible to submit um, a ticket and at our Rotary Foundation event on November 21st, 2020, we will be drawing the lucky tickets. The grand prize this year is a Visa gift card for $2,000, so please join us. Here's a chart on how the donations to the annual fund work and how it comes back to our district and to the clubs. When you, when you make a donation to the annual fund share program, that donation is invested for three years and that growth um, supports foundation operations. After three years, those funds are divided in half and half of the money goes to the World Fund and pro which provides support for global grants and programs. And the programs include Polio Plus, Rotary Peace Centers, and the Endowment Fund. And the other half goes to district designated funds. So if your club donated $5,000 three years ago, this year, half of that money would go to the World Fund and the other half comes to your club. In our district, we allocate all DDF to the clubs. At, in our district, we hold no DDF for district purposes. It's, an, uh, it's a wonderful um, system, which, and we are one of the few in the world um, that allocate this way. So it's important to remember that clubs determine the use of DDF. You can use it for district grants, global grants, um, you can send money to the Polio Plus Fund or the Endowment Fund or the Rotary Peace Fellows. And again, the, all the DDF is allocated to the clubs on a pro rata share based on your giving for the last three years. And what's, what's wonderful about this is that clubs determine what, what projects they want to do and, um, and how to use their DDF. Having an endowment fund ensures the long-term viability of the foundation's grants and programs. The endowment fund is carefully invested and a portion of the interest called spendable earnings are made available annual, annually to be spent according to the donor's wishes. Since the initial contribution is not spent but continues to earn interest each year, the impact of the gift can be seen year after year after year. As with the annual fund, there are a number of ways to designate a gift within the endowment. You're a Leewood. You know what that means? We work hard and we give back. <laughs> you know, someday this apple tree will be bigger than I am. We're leaving the future behind today. You'll see. Giving to Rotary's endowment ensures life-changing programs will benefit generations to come. Your legacy is Rotary's promise. Arch Clum said, Rotary's tomorrow depends on what we do today. How will your legacy change the world? Rotary provides a great deal of resources on the Rotary Foundation. The Rotary Foundation Reference Guide provides details on grants and giving. 
and the resource guide for zones 26 and 27 is also an excellent document. This document particularly is easy to use because it contains many links that will easily take you to source documents. Both of these documents also provide information on recognition of giving for your Rotarians, such as Paul Harris Fellows. The End Polio Now website provides excellent information on our efforts to eradicate polio. I urge you to go to Rotary's Learning Center and take some of the courses. Courses such as the Rotary Foundation Basics and Grant Management, these are excellent courses. Thank you for being a generous and dedicated Rotarian. What you do in your community and the assistance that you provide around the world is meaningful to those that we will never meet. Together, we will continue to do good in the world. If you have any questions or need additional information, here's my contact information. Thank you very much.